synchronous process. During these stages, two centrosomes containing a pair of centrioles in animal cells migrate to the two poles of the cell. The microtubules invade the nuclear region after the nuclear envelope disintegrates, attaching to the chromosomes at the kinetochore. The kinetochore functions as a motor, pulling the chromosomes along the attached microtubule. Microtubules that attach to the kinetochores are known as kinetochore microtubules. Other microtubules will interact with microtubules from the opposite centrosome. These are called non-kinetochore microtubules or polar microtubules. Metaphase 1. Homologous pairs move together along the metaphase plate. The paired homologous chromosomes align along an equatorial plane that bisects the spindle. Anaphase 1. Kinetical microtubules shorten, pulling homologous chromosomes, which consist of a pair of sister chromatids, to opposite poles. non kinetical microtubules lengthen, pushing the centrosome further apart. The cell elongates in preparation for division down the center. Telophase 1. The first meiotic division effectively ends when the chromosomes arrive at the poles. Each daughter cell now has half the number of chromosomes, but each chromosome consists of a pair of chromatids. The microtubules that make up the spindle network disappear, and a new nuclear membrane surrounds each haploid set. The chromosomes uncoil back into chromatin. Cytokinesis the pinching of the cell membrane in animal cells or the formation of the cell wall in plant cells occurs, completing the creation of two daughter cells. Sister chromatids remain attached during telophase 1. Cells may enter a period of rest known as interkinesis or interphase 2. No DNA replication occurs during this stage. Meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 is the second meiotic division and usually involves equational segregation, or separation, of sister chromatids. Mechanically, the process is similar to mitosis, though its genetic results are fundamentally different. The end result of meiosis II is production of four haploid cells, N chromosomes, 23 in humans. The four main steps of meiosis II are prophase II, metaphase II, anaphase II, and telophase 2. In prophase 2, we see the disappearance of the nucleoli and the nuclear envelope again, as well as the shortening and thickening of the chromatids. Centrosomes move to the polar regions and arrange spindle fibers for the second meiotic division. In metaphase 2, the centromeres contain two kinetochores that attach to spindle fibers from the centrosomes at opposite poles. This is followed by anaphase 2, in which the remaining centromeric cohesion is cleaved, allowing the sister chromatids to segregate. The sister chromatids by convention are now called sister chromosomes, as they move toward opposing poles. The process ends with telophase 2, which is similar to telophase 1, and is marked by the disassembly of the spindle and decondensation and lengthening of the chromosomes. Nuclear envelopes reform and cleavage or cell plate formation eventually produces a total of four daughter cells, each with a haploid set of chromosomes. Meiosis is now complete and ends up with four new daughter cells.